2023. We're back meeting face to face again, and I'm pleased to say um, it's been a long time, Derek, since the last time we spoke. But uh, lots of things happening with Calman and portrait displays, and something exciting that we're going to talk about this afternoon. So maybe introduce it for us. Uh, yes, we've been working with um, MediaTek and Pentonic for the last three years about being able to integrate Calman directly into the video chipsets themselves. This has kind of been my goal since I created the company almost 20 years ago, and you and I had talked about this before, is we kind of knew how the audio industry went when you'd buy an audio system and you'd have a calibration microphone to help set up the room. I knew if the video industry could get to that point, and with our work with Pentonic in the last three years, we're able to achieve that now. So the new Pentonic chipsets, the 700, the 1000, and the 2000, we've been working with them to be able to integrate Calman directly into it. So if that chipset is available, you can basically bring up the Calman Ready screen on your Pentonic chipset, the IP address, you can connect directly to Calman and be able to calibrate it directly. The advantage there is it typically used to take a year to two years to work with a new TV manufacturer. Now we're able to integrate the chipsets in a much more expedient time and add to more customers. So Derek, this has been a long time coming. I mean, the, the, the industry has been a little bit slow to get behind calibration, uh, but I believe that they now see it as a sell-up feature to have on TVs, and it's nice to see that a company like MediaTek have also thought ahead when it's come to new chip manufacturing. Yes, they came to us about three years ago asking what type of features we needed in a chipset. And so we worked closely, closely with them on what we needed. And they've given us access to 3D lookup tables, 1D lookup tables, so we can get the best quality and calibration out of the chipsets. And when it comes to TVs, I mean, it still depends on panel type and, and so on. It, just because it's got the chip, it, it won't automatically be able to do everything. That is correct. So it is basically dependent on the panel capability. But it also allows manufacturers to be able to create value brands, uh, intermediate brands, and high-end brands now as well. And the chip, uh, it'll have um, its own pattern generator and so on, is that correct? Yes, that was one of the features we needed to make sure that we could have a built-in pattern generator. We essentially take over the frame buffer so we can make sure that it's bit accurate as well as being able to write to the lookup tables directly. So for you, what, what's what been the, the biggest plus point? You're the soft guy, software guy at the end of the day, so this must have been a dream for you. Oh yes, no, it's absolutely, so saying it was my dream when I founded the company almost 20 years ago, knowing that we'd be able to work with a company like Pentonix and MediaTek to be able to have access to the chipsets, again, because it, it it lightens my load considerably. Um, I don't have to spend a year or two years working with every TV manufacturer now. It can be you know weeks or months to be able to bring a new TV line on. Now, I know um, there'll be confidentiality clauses and everything else in, in what you do, but um, in terms of TV manufacturers, what kind of interest is there out there with this chipset? It has been significant. Um, this show um, we've had almost all the TV manufacturers come through and talk to us about some level of interest, more so than any show that we've been at. And what do you think it opens up for a TV manufacturer? Uh, it, it opens up the ability to provide calibration capability without them having to spend the effort and the time of working with us. Um, we have significant markets now where a lot of retail stores are providing calibration as a service and the retailers are asking for more and more TV brands to have the ability to be able to calibrate in stores because they're seeing that's a very high value add to their service. One of the things, and don't take this the wrong way, um, <laughs> but as a calibrator, as a reviewer, getting started out, um, you've got to buy really expensive equipment, you've got to buy expensive software, you've got to buy pattern generators and all the rest of it, and it's, it's kind of excluded the enthusiast a little bit in terms of cost of entry. Do you see the use of this new chipset with you know, Kalman built in, with a pattern genera generator built in, will that make it more appealing for enthusiasts to calibrate their own sets, do you think? I believe so, um, because we have our Kalman home licenses, so we'll have home licenses for Pentonics, built in pattern generators so you don't have that additional expense. Um, and so it'll be easier for consumers and end users to be able to calibrate with Kalman. And just recently, we're starting to work in the Mac OS space. So we just announced products for, for Mac, for iOS, for calibrating uh, iPads and other stuff as well. So for an enthusiast, if you get a Calman license, you can basically look around and say, I can calibrate my TVs, I can calibrate my Macs, my iPads, and various other uh, systems throughout your house. When we first spoke about this, um, it was 2010, um, <laughs> CES 2010. Has it taken longer than you wanted it to take? Yes, it has. But 
as we'd planned, you know, the, the pandemic and other stuff slowed everything down by about two or three years, but it also gave us more time to, to refine the work that we were working on. And so we were able to go into the core of Calman and find the, the calibration engine, we call it the Aurora Color Engine. We now have five color scientists that work for us on our color science team developing these engines. Uh, we did work with Dell on their UP32 two years ago. It's got built-in Calman directly running in the monitor itself. That was part of the effort as well. And I guess with direct access, it gives you everything that you need to, to perform the calibration at the end of the day from that, from that chipset. And it's one of the things that gets thrown back at me a lot is, well, how can a consumer TV possibly be calibrated accurately and so on? But they really can, can't they? Yes, with access to the full lookup tables themselves, uh, the 3D LUTs and the 1D LUTs, we can calibrate them just like we do for monitors in Hollywood now. So it's not necessarily an exclusive feature to, to Hollywood high-end monitors. Well, it's exciting stuff. It's great to catch up with you once again at CES. I wish you all the luck with this. All right, thank you very much.